We can scientifically predict if a relationship is going to make it right from the start. And your rebound relationship has a better chance than you thought. We'll talk about it. Researchers wanted to identify the critical point at which a relationship was going to break, and the results were pretty interesting. People tend to end a relationship when they get to about 63 to 65% satisfaction. So if you were to answer that you just love your partner, everything about them, your relationship is perfect, down to getting to about 60%, the relationship is doomed. But that number starts at the beginning of a relationship. So if you start out with a lower satisfaction, you're none likely to get any better from there, because typically the first few years of a relationship are the happiest you're going to be, the honeymoon period. I am sure you've heard people say that it takes about two years for your brain to recover from really good events or really bad events. In another study I talked about, turns out it takes about eight years to recover from a serious breakup. So that wasn't actually true. More interestingly, people's rebound relationship, so the next relationship after a breakup, tends to have higher satisfaction and therefore a higher probability of success with conditions. If someone jumps right from one relationship to another, that usually does not work out well. If you take a couple of years in between, chances are you'll have grown a little bit and maybe matured into a better person, I don't know. This also collides right into other research about how people tend to process breakups at all. Those who are attached to destiny, or you might have heard internet people talk about twin flames, are more likely to not do well after a breakup. Those are people who are going to be checking their social media, trying to get back together, and having a really hard time separating themselves from the previous relationship, which does not turn out well. If you have alternative evidence on meant to be, please present it. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't help. You are reinforcing those neural pathways, okay? If you keep looking at their picture, if you keep reliving old events, you're keeping your brain from moving on. You want those neurons to taper off so you stop having that emotional reaction to the thought of that person. There is a lot of research that's coming out that suggests that romance is essentially an addiction. It's not surprising that people who have the hardest time with it also tend to have other addictions. Yes, while relationship satisfaction tends to be higher when you are young, when you're not disillusioned, it tends to coincide with other addictive behaviors. Specifically, young people who tend to do things like consume alcohol also tend to have issues with romantic highs and romantic lows and have serious depression afterwards. This I would call a correlation causation issue. If you have an addictive personality, romance is probably included. Of course, one would have to balance the idea that people become increasingly disillusioned with relationships at all as they get older and the probability of success goes down the later in your life you're in a relationship. More research is needed. This is just looking at a tiny fraction of just general people and their relationship dynamics. I'm also a little bit surprised that everyone keeps saying that 50% of marriages end in divorce. I would have thought it was way higher. I guess it would vary based on country and demographic. What is the alternative to ending in divorce? That you die together in a fiery oblivion? Or how, how many of those was actually, you know... Has anyone looked into if people who are married tend to die natural deaths more? I think there needs to be some investigation into that. Wait, I can actually answer that question for you. Partially. Yes, your spouse is the most likely to kill you of anyone else in your life. Can someone remind me why we're doing this? Is it the biological imperative to be in a relationship? Because it doesn't look good. 